Hey everybody, Mike DeSempley. Welcome to the Ask the Advisor show. Ask the Advisor is brought to you by Heritage Financial Advisory Group. And this week in episode 92, we want to talk about diversification. Okay, diversification is a word that's thrown around very frequently when it comes to personal finance and investing. But we find in our travels of meeting with clients and prospective clients that diversification is very, very misunderstood. So we want to dive into that here today very quickly so we can get you guys on board with this concept. So for those of you that are unfamiliar, the concept of diversification is the idea of spreading your assets around, you know, not having all your eggs in one basket proverbially, but yet many people misunderstand this concept. All right, the true idea of diversification is having your money spread amongst different types of investments in different asset classes, in different financial markets, not just buying all tech stocks or buying all industrial stocks, but owning different asset classes that will participate in positive economic trends. But when we meet with a lot of prospective clients, some who have other financial advisors, some who have multiple financial advisors, we find that many people think that just because they hire numerous professionals to manage their money, that they are diversified. That is not the meaning of diversification, and more often than not, what we find when we do a review of these situations is that somebody may have two, three, or four different financial institutions that they work with, but all those advisors are actually buying and investing in the very same things. So even though they feel like they're diversified because they get different statements every month, and they have different people serving their needs, there's plenty of overlap in those portfolios and they're actually not diversified at all. I can't tell you how often that we see this. And look, it's okay to have different advisors, it's okay to have your assets spread out in different places, but you need to sit down and do a full and comprehensive review, you know, kind of like a, a checklist, do an assessment of all your balances, see what you're invested in, not just the balances on the page, you know, many people get their statements, they look at page one, they want to see what the balance is, did I make money or did I lose money? And don't get me wrong, that is vitally, vitally important. But we encourage you to dig deeper, to look a little bit further, and look what are you actually invested in. Now, not everybody's going to be able to figure that out. We understand you're not an investment professional. We would offer our services to review anything that you have to make sure that you are well diversified and well invested. You do not need to be a client of ours for us to perform this service with you. We just want to make sure investors are well taken care of and have their money working hard for them because they work so hard for their money. You know, it's important to us that investors are increasing, not just their return on investment, but their return on life and the ability to sleep well at night to know that your investments are diversified properly and spread the risk out appropriately amongst all the different places in the market will help you sleep well at night. So we thank you guys for tuning in. If you have any questions about diversification or you know somebody that's really overloaded in one stock or one sector, or they're working with multiple advisors and they think that that is diversification, we would be a great place for them to start. Thanks so much for tuning in. We'll see you back next week.